Boris Johnson is considering cutting VAT on energy bills in a major U-turn after apparently ruling it out a few weeks ago. The news comes as rising prices caused by the European-wide energy crisis is impacting British families' budgets. With around 13% of the UK population living with fuel poverty, the U-turn will come as a welcome tax break for those struggling the most to keep warm. The measure is one of a number of possible options to tackle the cost of living crisis that the Prime Minister and Chancellor plan to discuss this week. Earlier this month, Mr Johnson warned that scrapping the dislike tax on domestic fuel could prove a blunt instrument that would benefit better off families more than the needy. Energy firms, Labour and some Tory MPs have piled pressure on ministers to axe the 5% VAT rate on domestic fuel this winter. Slashing the levy would cost the Treasury £1.7 billion and knock around £60 off an average household fuel bill. The Prime Minister and Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, are hoping to meet to discuss the options this week and intend to make an announcement before February 7 when the energy price cap level is set. It is feared bills could rise by 50% from April. A government source last night told the Daily Mail that the proposed VAT cut has never not been one of several options under consideration despite Mr Johnson's comments, but stressed that no decisions have been made. Ministers are understood to be increasingly keen for a broad brush measure that will help middle-income families as well as those on lower wages. During the 2016 Brexit referendum campaign, Mr Johnson and Michael Gove pledged to scrap VAT on energy bills if the UK left the EU. Last night Labour reiterated its call to slash the tax as it warned that a million more disabled people are now trapped in hardship and poverty than in 2010. An analysis of Department for Work and Pensions figures by the party found the number of disabled people living in poverty is currently 3.8 million, increasing from 2.6 million in 2010 when the Conservative Party came to power. According to statistics, around 20% of the UK population live in general poverty, equating to around 13.5 million people. Annalise Dodds, Labour's Women and Equalities spokeswoman warned that the cost of living crisis has seen poverty explode and called on the government to adopt Labour calls to cut VAT on energy bills. Ms Dodds said, instead of taking action to help disabled people, the Tories slashed universal credit, cut £70 million in disability benefits and voted against Labour's measure to reduce energy bills. Labour's contract with the British people will ensure disabled people are treated with respect and our fully costed energy plan would see those most in need getting up to £600 off their energy bills. Labour has claimed that the cost of living crisis has disproportionately affected disabled people, adding that the overall rate of disability poverty now stands at 27%, growing by a fifth since 2010. It came as health unions called for an inflation-busting pay rise to tackle the exodus of exhausted NHS staff.
in evidence to the independent NHS pay review body. 14 unions representing 1.2 million workers warned that without a decent wage increase this year, the health service will continue to lose staff at alarming rates. The government clashed with unions last year over NHS pay amid the huge strain on the service due to the coronavirus crisis, eventually awarding a 3% rise in England. But the recent submission has called on ministers to make sure this year's pay rise cushions health workers from increased living costs and helps the NHS to retain and attract staff.